in my series of videos about what uh let me just close in my series of videos about acids and bases uh where i talked about metals reacting with acids uh that reaction which which occurred is actually a redox reaction and so if we actually take a look at what is actually going on in terms of oxidation numbers, oxidation reduction, um, we'll find that it is a redox reaction. So let's take an example. Let's say, uh, my, let me look at the periodic table. Let's say calcium was to react with a hydrochloric acid. So Ca, Ca, um, plus HCl. Now calcium is a group 2 element so it's going to react with two moles of HCl and then this would react and this would probably produce a salt and that salt would probably be um, calcium it will be calcium chloride CaCl2 and so the two hydrogens remaining would produce hydrogen gas so H2 and now if we analyze this equation and look at the oxidation number changes so i'll just do that now um calcium here is not combined with anything so its oxidation number is going to be zero uh the hydrogen is combined with chlorine and chlorine is in group seven so it's going to want to steal one electron and so this is going to be plus one to balance out that minus one charge on the chlorine and so hydrogen is going to have a charge of plus one Chlorine, on the other hand, is the one that is stealing those elect that el electron, and so it's going to have a charge of minus one. And if we look at it, if we look at the uh, elements over here, calcium now has been combined with chlorine, and chlorine is much more greedy and much more, um, yeah, it's much more greedy with electrons than chlorine. I mean, than calcium. So, oops, my. My last video just finished. Uh, it's much more greedy with electrons than calcium. And so chlorine's going to want to um, steal those electrons. Or, well, be greedy with the electrons. Uh, so chlorine is going to have a charge of. Since we have two here, and calcium is grouped two, so it's going to. If we look at calcium first, actually, it's going to have a charge of plus two. Now, if we look at chlorine, it's going to have a charge of. Since this is neutral, it's going to have a charge of minus two. But since we have two of the chlorine atoms, it's gonna we're gonna divide up minus two by two to get the charge per chlorine atom, which is the oxidation number of the chlorine, uh, which is minus one. And so if I erase that part there, so you should get rid of this. Um, yeah, I'll just leave this down there. That would have an oxidation number of minus one. And if we look at the hydrogen, hydrogen is only bonded to hydrogen. So it's not going to have like a high or low oxidation number. It's going to just be zero. It's going to be neutral. And so now if we, if we, if we look at the change in oxidation numbers, which have occurred, I'll use those, um, squarey liney things. I don't know what they're called, but calcium has changed from zero to plus two. And that means that its oxidation number has increased by two, plus two, and therefore calcium has been oxidized because its oxidation number has increased. And so if it's been oxidized, that means something else has probably been reduced. And in this case, we will find that it's hydrogen because hydrogen's oxidation number has changed from plus one. Actually, I'll use a darker, darker blue there. From plus one to zero. And so hydrogen's oxidation number has decreased by one. So it's been, it, it's, it's reduced by one. So it's been reduced. So ox minus one. So therefore calcium has been, calcium has been oxid oxidized and hydrogen has been reduced. And therefore, through that, we can see that this is a redox reaction because something's been oxidized and something else has been reduced. And if you've seen the last video, you'd know that the chlorine doesn't actually change. It's minus one before and it's minus one after. And so, yeah, so therefore the calcium, since this caused the H to be reduced, 
you could call this an oxidizing agent oxidizing oxidizing agent and the H has been reduced so we could oh no 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 I, bleh, I got that mixed up a little bit let's get this and move it down let's make it move that was a mix up what's happened is the hydrogen has made a calcium be oxidized so the hydrogen is the oxidizing agent yeah 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 and the calcium um, has caused the H to be reduced so the H is reduced from minus, plus 1 to 0 so the calcium can be considered a, a, a reducing agent reducing agent agent because it donated electrons and if we look at the number of electrons donated since this is increased by plus 2 that means it must have donated 2 electrons and if we look at this we had two atoms of hydrogen and each one through this line we can see uh, gained uh, an electron so therefore gained uh, one negative charge it gained each one gained an electron so we can see that these two electrons which are lost here were gained here so yeah that's basically the the fundamental ideas behind redox reactions